Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on The Casey Malone Show. Today, I prepare a delicious pasta fazool, courtesy of Judge Anthony D'Onofrio, and it's eight, skate, and donate. I ice skate at JCC and roller skate at the updated Cortland Roller Rink. Well, after about, what, two years of inactivity? Yeah, a couple of years. The Cortland Roller Rink is back in action, and it's under new ownership with Sean Tassone. And, like, the champion roller skating rink burnt down. Yeah, a little over a year ago. Chris, it was, I think, Christmas Eve, maybe, uh, last so year. So this is the only skating in Trumbull County. Yes, you are correct. And, boy, is yeah. this a popular place. Yeah, not bad for a Saturday afternoon. In the now, Sean, what do you know about running a roller skating rink? You're looking at it. I've done it for one <laughs> month. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing, but I'm having a blast. So good news is I got people that have been around roller skating forever working here. That's so, right. I mean, you've got to go with the professionals. That's right. So what led you to buy it? So it was for sale? The, the rink was for sale, and I had a real estate agent uh, looking around for property for me because I had just sold a building, um, and I needed to do a like kind exchange. So this was the right size. I came up and looked at it, thought, what could it be? Open up the doors, I go, this has to stay a roller rink. So now in the roller skating business. <laughs> You've really done a lot of upgrades. Uh, yeah, and we're not done yet. So it's, it's too much fun. It was, I mean, the, bo the building had good bones, I call it. You know, yeah. it, it was solid. It's a good structure, brick building. But it was, it, it was everything was 45 years old. So. We just had to rip everything out and start from scratch. I mean, as far as the the, the, the interior, and yeah. the flooring, new and carpet, you know. uh, new ceiling, all the new lighting, and this is the first step of it. What is this yeah. floor size? This floor is it's a it's a competition floor they call it. So it's 180 foot long by 80 foot wide. So it's one of the biggest in the country. There's probably there's not as many skating rinks left anymore. I would say, I think they're down to 1,600. Because wow. if you think about it, it was, it was real popular in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. And the average owner now is probably 70-ish years old. Yeah. And the kids would rather sell this out to a grocery store or a Rite Aid or a, you know, a church. They just have it done instead of operating a rink. I don't remember there being referees. You know, well, the no, one that's, guy, that's what just do you they, call them? They're skate guards. That, and, okay. and they're out there in case anybody would fall down or get or, or need assistance. They help the young kids learn how to skate. Um, they're there in case there's a spill, you know, anything. They're kind of so just watching out. You don't have to have like a lifeguard certificate or a skate guard certificate. No, they take some sort of test, I think, through the RSA. There's yeah. a the Roller Skating Association. Um, but and you're a member? Oh, gosh. In good standing? It's great. I, I paid the dues. <laughs> I did. And I learned all about music. You coming from the radio, I've had to pay yes. those dues up. So um, that's, uh, you know, to play the music in here. Oh, oh, hey, this guy, we're getting photobombed over here. You're loafing on the job. Uh -oh. Yeah, he is loafing. That's you're right. right. That's right. Oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm just happy people are coming out. I didn't know when I was building this place out, I'm like, I hope this works out. Because it could have been a storage facility real quick. That yeah, well, easy. I mean, I think, and especially, you know, opening up during COVID and, you know, the pandemic. And, and we're following all the mandates there are. Like, when, I, if yeah. you notice when you come in, you have to get your temperature taken. There, yes. there's, there's sanitizing stations all through here. You try to do your best you can to follow a six foot rule. It's a little tough on the skates, but there's, there's pretty good separation but out there. it's considered exercise. That's so, why you see no masks on, well, on I'm the gonna participants. Well, I'm going to tell you, after a couple rounds, I, I would have had a hard time yeah. keeping a mask on because you really do work up a there's sweat. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. And, and here's the good part. like You see, half, some have it on, some don't. If you want to wear a mask, <laughs> wear your mask. It's kids funny. You know, These kids are crazy. They don't stop. It, it, it's just fun to see yeah. people smiling and having fun again. And I think that's why we're having such a good time right now is everybody's been penned up for a year. These kids have energy. They got to get it out. So come on up and, and skate. You know, what I remember is I don't remember if we skated to popular music. I think the guy was always playing the organ. He might have been. I don't remember that. Now, 
there was like a perch in board. That's right, there was. And he would be out there, you know, yeah. the Wizard of Oz. It, and I'm wondering, I see that you have an organ. Yeah, I, to, to just to kind of keep the past alive, I, I created kind of a, a mini museum, a little memorabilia section. And now, is that organ working? It, it, it does to a point, and, and we thought about having an organist in for certain, you know, different sessions. The, the, the purists, if you will, the yes. roller skaters. Yes. And we have this adult, they call it adult skate, but it's, it, you know, it's kind of like 70 plus. Uh -huh. They've been doing it forever. They like that because they skate to the beat of the organ, like the different chords. And, and, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. they don't like all this, you know, new music. And uh, I tell you what, the most fun those things would be like 80s, 90s. Like everybody's, it's retro. We even though everything's modern, I try to keep that retro thing when exactly. we skated and your safety speed yes. parties or KM Field and yeah, you know, and so like all the games and everything I put in here are all there's they're stuff that we would have played. So if, if somebody brings their kid, it, they can play against them. Like, hey, I'll take you on and you know, uh, ski ball because they played ski ball. There's so many things to do here. It's just a big building that's wide open. I mean, and it's it fun. sounds like you have got some excellent ideas. Well, hopefully, I'm gonna make her help me get some bands in here on Thursday right. nights. We're gonna start, start music. Yeah, we want to start adult night on Thursdays. Uh, now that the curfew lifted. Thirsty Thursday. That's right. Well, I'm sure that Cortland is thrilled oh, to have this building occupied. What a again. great town. I'm I'm from Mahoney County. I grew up in Canfield, live in Borman now. It, 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 this Cortland, it's such a good community. I mean, people are really, really just genuinely good folks. And, and the draw is actually a little bit even bigger than that, though. I mean, roller skate, people drive up a half hour easy, but we've had them. Detroit's been here, Erie, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. I was they're, behind they're with a lot of Pennsylvania, a lot yeah. from over the state yeah, line. A lot, yeah, a lot, you know, the other states are a little tougher, you know, on, on the rules to let people engage, you know, in, in having skating. So we're, we're catching others. But really, most of it's, you know, Trumbull County. It, it, you know, great folks. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Family owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full service independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. Let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally owned Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolen, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old Road Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available at $13 an hour. Given is living. Well, I am here with Rude the Dude at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And it is never too early to start planning your parties. Now, okay, so yeah, we have our banquet room that's attached to the building here for, you know, upcoming graduations, communion, things of that nature. Uh, we also have a catering menu for offsite. So if you're interested in just letting us cook for you for your parties, uh, we can do that. So if you want to check out our websites, uh, you can see what we have to offer. And what is the capacity under COVID guidelines for the side room? Following all the COVID guidelines, we can hold up to 80 people. Oh, so, I mean, you can still party safely here at the Magic Tree. And I got to tell you, that menu, you have more farmers on that menu than the Canfield Fair. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we love to support local here at Magic Tree, so supporting our local breweries and farms is what we like to do. And the biggest selection of craft beer, it's all here. Magic Tree Pub and Eatery.
It's the Hunting and Fishing Super Show and Sale at the Metroplex, Belmont Avenue at I-80 in Liberty, March 5th, 6th, and 7th. Huge discounts on rods, reels, and more. Seminars including Bigfoot, free reels to the first 100 kids. The Hunting and Fishing Super Show and Sale this weekend at the Metroplex. I personally feel that Forever Mark is the best because only 1% of diamonds can even become a Forever Mark diamond. Diamonds take millions of years to be formed in the ground and it's not very pretty. Once you get to that inner core of the diamond, it really can give beauty and light. Forever Mark goes beyond the technical qualities of the four C's. They handpick diamonds that are truly beautiful. Get real, get Kamara. Well, we're here at the Jewish Community Center, and in the back is the Winter Campus. And now, the highlight of the Winter Campus is the ice shack and the ice skating rink. Laura Weimer, you were really involved in getting the grants, getting this together, and when I read about this, I could not believe that this is an ice. Yes, it is very different for our area, absolutely. And it doesn't need cold weather, does not need cold weather. It does not need a Zamboni. Nope. How do you keep it so it is skatable with real ice skates? Yeah, so with our winter campus, we, we did a lot of research to find a high quality synthetic ice. And so what we do is we have a special solution we put on top twice a week. And then we get out here with blowers, depending on the weather. So today, of course, today is perfect for ice skating. So much fun, um, but the prep is a little, a little more work. <laughs> How has this been received by the community? It's been amazing. We've just—it's been so fun to come out and see so many families enjoy the ice. I think our first weekend alone, we had over 750 reservations. So everyone is, they're so desperate. Everyone wants to come out and I do something know. with their family and it's the perfect opportunity. And it's free. Is it going to remain free? It'll remain free. So we've had wonderful, generous donors, the Youngstown Foundation, Western Reserve Health Foundation and J. Ford Crandall. They all gave us over $100,000 to make the rink happen. And so with that, we've been able to let people come in. We do have a small fee for skate rentals if you need one. But other than that, people can come out and enjoy themselves. And I can believe that you also are going to now have curling. So that was uh, definitely a, a fun new project for our team. We are new to curling as well as the ice rink. But, you know, it's been really fun to learn the sport. We're planning on starting a curling league in February. It's very similar to bocce and cornhole, yes. and we, we Ohioans know bocce and cornhole, so anyone who wants to get into the game <laughs> no. can come out, learn it. It's going to be a rec league. We're going to have fun with it, so anyone can come out and enjoy the league. Um, we're, we're just going to have fun. Now, are you? since this doesn't require any refrigeration, are you going to keep this open all year round? So for now, our plan is to keep it only during our winter months, um, but you know, there's always opportunity to, to do more. So we have thought about it, we'll see what happens, but for now we'll be open until March 28th. And then you have the warming house. So if people and families come, you sell uh, warm drinks, coffee, hot chocolate, things like that? Yeah, we, just, we have a nice little snack shack. So families, we have uh, heaters out here as well because it does get pretty cold in the winter months. So they can come out, get hot chocolate, hot dogs, a pretzel, um, have a seat, enjoy themselves while they take a little break. And it's, it's just a really, cool way for families to come together and, and spend some time in a safe environment. I cannot believe the expansion that JJ, the JCC rather, has brought to this community. I mean, the campus is so much larger and there's so much more than what happens inside that building. Absolutely, we have our Logan campus. So people, we have an outdoor pool and sand volleyball. So we had sand volleyball leagues this past summer, which was really fun. Um, we have our outdoor pickleball courts where we've started leagues and tournaments outside in the summer months. Um, we also just converted a racquetball court into a beautiful school of visual arts with painting, pottery, classes for kid, little kids all the way up through seniors. So I do feel like the JCC has really tried to find something for everyone and you don't have to be Jewish to enjoy the JCC. Anyone no. is welcome. Um, you know, of course, to keep safe, you recommend that everybody go online and make a reservation. Yes, so we are limiting our reservations to 30 spots an hour um, so that there's fewer people on the ice at the same time. 
everyone has to wear a mask, so we make sure everyone is safe. Um, but yeah, we are following all the guidelines by the CDC to make this a safe and fun place for everybody. And if you, can I book a party here? If I, you know, kids, adults, whatever. It has been so popular. We have had a ton of birthday parties out here. You get hot chocolate, you get to have a little space for your party, and then they get time on the ice at the same time. So we really want to keep this free. So, you know, through donations and through sponsorships and advertising, Right, so the sponsorships that we got were to build the rink itself, but operation costs, we have two staff here at all times. We're always looking for sponsorships to help make it free for the community. So if anyone wants a dasher board sponsorship, they want to sponsor the ice shack, our curling lane, you name it, there's an opportunity. Even a title sponsorship, if they want to be the title sponsor oh of the gosh. ice shack. Oh my gosh, the Casey Malone Glice Rink. That has right? a nice ring to it. I, I like do it. like that. I do like that. And you can see I'm an excellent skater. I mean, really, honestly, the Olympics Fantastic. are calling. Yes. Um, and then you can just sign up now. Uh, can you just join the league with anybody or for the curling league? How is that going to work? Yeah, so if you go to our website, you can register for curling. We're doing teams of four. So if you um, want to grab your friends, if you want to be a free agent, you can do that as well. Just let us know that you want to get put on a team. Um, everything is through our website. So jccyoungstown.org. You can make your reservation. You can look us up to book your party. If you want to do curling, you can um, sign up for that. Everything is through our website. <laughs> the Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you, from cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. The health of our members and staff has always been our top priority. Limiting class sizes, social distancing, and frequent cleanings are just a few ways we are making Creekside a safer environment for all. Membership and personal training specials are happening now, so come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. RS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RS Paint. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering, made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call locally owned Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. It's not just any stone, it's Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Well, it was a huge disappointment this year that we once again had to cancel the Mahoning Valley St. Patrick Parade due to the pandemic. And last year when it was canceled, the Murphy family sent me this video where they hosted their own parade on parade day and the committee thought that's a great idea so we are asking all of our enthusiastic participants to host their own neighborhood parade with friends and family make sure you do it on parade day march 14th step off at 1 p.m and video it send us the videos to our facebook page 
And on St. Patrick's Day, the top three videos that receive the most likes will be awarded prizes. 150 for first, 100 for second, and for third place, 50 bucks. This way we can all celebrate the St. Patrick Parade together, but it will have to be separately. Go to our Facebook page for more details or our website. Parade Day, March 14th, Slancha. Well, this is a recipe that I've been making for a few years now, and I've been dying to share it with you. And this is my buddy, Judge Anthony D'Onofrio's recipe. And when he ran for a Court of Common Pleas judge a few years ago, he handed out recipe cards. And this one is for a family recipe, their pasta visual. And let me tell you, this D'Onofrio family knows how to cook. So I made this and I loved it. And it's not the uh, red-based pasta fazool, it is uh, chicken broth based. And it's really delicious. It has a pork product in it, which if you don't want to have um, meat in your dish, you could probably remove that, but it's very flavorful and it comes together very quickly. And of course, I had to make a few Casey Malone tweaks in it. For this recipe, you'll need a quarter cup of olive oil, two large cloves of garlic minced, one medium onion finely chopped, two ribs of celery finely chopped, one half teaspoon of marjoram, one teaspoon of dried parsley or one tablespoon of fresh parsley, one teaspoon of thyme, one half teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, four to six ounces of cubed ham, chopped bacon or chopped pancetta, one 48 ounce can of chicken broth, one 40 ounce can of great northern beans drained and rinsed, and one half pound of ditalini pasta cooked and drained. So I've got the olive oil heated up and now I'm going to add the garlic. Now Anthony was very specific on the garlic because you really don't want it to burn, but you do like it to cook for a little bit to sweeten up. So we're going to do this for about a minute or so. And you don't want it to go too far because you know once that minced garlic gets burnt, I am now going to add the other vegetables. The chopped onion and the chopped celery. And we are going to let this all cook together. Leave it on medium, medium high and uh, we'll let these soften for about five minutes. Well, this has softened nicely. Look at that. The garlic is still nice and golden. So now we are going to add the thyme, the dried parsley. I also like fresh parsley, but I'm gonna use that for garnish when I serve. And then the marjoram. And I'm going to add the pancetta. Now this I'd like to draw a little bit of the fat from the pancetta. So I am just going to mix this thoroughly and let it crisp up for just a couple minutes. This is also a good time to add some uh, black pepper, about a quarter of a teaspoon. You can always add more, but the pancetta adds a nice salt and everything else, so I really don't salt this dish right now. The pancetta is starting to curl, so it's cooked up nicely. And now what we'll do is add the broth. And we are just going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Ooh, see? Nice. Well, this has been simmering for about 10 minutes. It looks great. And now is the time for the great northern beans. Oh, yes. Now, this really will help absorb a lot of these flavors. And uh, we are going to let this cook for a good 30 minutes. Go. Little 
parsley. And I like a little cheese. There you go. Oh my. So, my mother has not had Anthony's pasta. No, I haven't. What do you think? Mmm. It's very tasty. Mm hmm. I like this version better than the red, the red. version. I know, it's really different. It's and lighter. Light spices, mm -hmm. um, you know, but it's really rich. And it's really, I'll tell you what, it's gonna be even better tomorrow. Mm. When it sits overnight, I mean, if you can, try to make it a day in advance. But if you're in a hurry, you see how quickly it comes together. So I wanna thank Judge Anthony D'Onofrio for uh, his well, recipe. Well, the D'Onofrios are wonderful oh, cooks. Wonderful cooks. Wonderful. And I'm just gonna hang on to my little collector's <laughs> item. Look at this thing, it's all bent up. It's been in my cupboard used. But uh, my tweaks are in there, and uh, make sure you do it. And next time you see the judge, tell him, hey, good pasta fazool. And uh, we are drinking French That's with right. the Italians. Giants. This is a great Sauvignon Blanc from um, Mouton Cadet. I love it. It's really fresh, and it really accompanies it goes nice this with nicely. This. Here's so, to the Donofrios. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Go to my website for the pasta fazool recipe at caseymalonshow.com. Astrovia. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.